I think it was our car, a big picture. Then we created another one. Another one. Prime Minister was talking about it. You know, I mean, the responsible is the responsible. They talk about the Republic. The Republic imprisoned the workers, you know, closed the, the labor unions, closed the, the Ateneos, so the, center, the, the labor union centers, everything that is. And the only reason why in, in, in July, in, in April, no, in May, no, in June 36, it was an election, was because there was a lot of prisons, militants in prisons. I bought the Republicans such a way to get people out of the prison. But the anarchists hated the, 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 the government because the government was, was a, a government that only obeyed the church and things like this, even though he put some laws against the church. It was, was so afraid of revolution. Because at that time, at my time, when I was a young, we saw that the new world was coming. We could feel it that. And in July 36, we see it became a reality in many people. In many villages and cities and towns in Spain. Because of the, the schools and people were learning to read and and people were um, coming together and sharing things, mutual, mutual aid kind of thing, right? Read the other letter, the letter now. And you can answer her. What? Other letter. <coughs> Somebody asked me to define anarchism. I cannot define no, it. No, I would never attempt to. Eh? I would never attempt to. I mean, I don't know if anybody. Can you read it aloud? So it's yours, yeah. right? So I read the, the first yeah, part? Yeah, that's the poem that I wrote in the template of them. Like the stars, the night, like the sun, the day, the dawn, the morning, the flower, the petal, the bee, the nectar, the beehive, the honey, the lover, the beloved. No one carries, so one carries the ideal in one's thought and in one's heart. <clears throat> you get it? I'll give you a copy there. No. Yeah, so it's like anarchism is the ideal. No, but the whole letter you have to read it. Okay. Can you can you stand the whole letter? Sure. Do you want me to read it? Shall I read it aloud? I would like to. <clears throat> you asked me if I can define anarchism. It is very difficult for me to do concretely. Personally, I don't consider myself good enough to call myself an art anarchist because I've always believed that to be one it would be necessary to reach the extreme point of sacrifice and to devote oneself without reservation to doing good without limit and without cease. I can say that I still find myself tied to those endless commodities that contemporary society has created and even though I try to limit them as much as I can it will never be enough. The total the Tolstoyan spirit that commends the freedom of the isolated individual, I will never be able to attain. As you know, I grew up in the environment of a working class family with very limited means when libertarian ideas were spreading and increasing the hopes of being able to create a better world. So at home, I would read Solid Solidaridad Obrera and La Re Revista Blanca or Estudios, the libertarian press. <clears throat> when my father was dismissed from his job because of his advanced age, I could read the newspaper to him and to some of our neighbors who would gather at the door of our house to enjoy the fresh air, as was the custom in those days. As much from what I read as from the conversations that frequ frequently took place at home at supper on work days, or at Sunday dinners, I became imbued with the spirit of the times and shared with my family the same concerns and strong desire to work to attain the ultimate goal 
of a three, free libertarian society, a dream which we were convinced would soon become a, a reality. Today, almost three quarters of a century later, it is very difficult for those who did not live that period to comprehend the feelings, the disquiet, the sentiment, the unselfishness the workers felt, those who gave of themselves completely in unions and educational programs, all at the cost of firings, persecution, imprisonment, torture, and even assassination. It was a unique environment that came to shape thousands of compañeros. Brotherhood and sacrifice characterized characterize the men and women who wrote those beautiful pages full of exploits that today we want to erase from history, but that still remain alive in the hearts and minds of those of us who learned how to understand those ex exploits and to relive them intensely. After all this, I have not answered your desire to know what I think of anarchism. Anarchism should be the ultimate expression of freedom in all its meanings, a freedom that does not interfere with and that always respects the freedom of others. I could also say that for me, anarchism is something more than the economic organization of society based on the free association of individuals which exist in many collectives and villages in Spain during the revolutionary period of 1936 to 1939, especially in Aragon, the Levant, and Catalonia, and in other anti-fascist regions of Spain. It should embody an implicit respect for life. It is a reaffirmation of the human being based on feelings of, an, of affection, feelings and affection that make one perspective the yearnings, hopes, sorrows, and pains present themselves in the course of our existence. Perhaps I could say that I feel anarchism more in my heart than in my mind, the way hopeful lovers I idealize their beloved, and on this path to love and to value all of humanity and nature for their own sake. Again, it is difficult for me to define it, and I am sorry to disappoint you if I'm not clear enough to satisfy, satisfy your request. How do you like? Very much. That's a translation that I wrote in Spanish. No. That's clear enough. I, no, I don't defend it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean... I'm so is that shared by uh, <clears throat> your neighbors? That's I mean, very did you, humble. Did your neighbors feel that same energy? It's the feeling at that time. There's a feeling of that. that says, I grew this way. And I carry that feeling with me. And uh, when July 19, for me, it's, uh, I still carry the spirit, and I, I do everything I can at least keep that memory alive. Were Were there people that you knew that were like fired from their jobs or persecuted, like in your oh, neighborhood? Yeah, yes, yes. That was worse at the Franco, at the Franco bomb. My brother-in-law was sentenced to death and was four months waiting to be executed every night. Finally, they committed for 30 years, and then he, he, stepped, he spent six years in prison. And then, when he went out, every, 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 every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, he had to go to the police to present himself. Like he was on parole or probation or something. Mm -hmm. What year was that? No, I'm 48. Okay. Weren't you, weren't you also in, in the carcel? Weren't you also in the carcel? Talk a little louder, in fact. Talk a little louder. Weren't you also in the carcel? In the carcel? Yeah, yeah wherever they call it. <laughs> well, I crossed, I crossed into France. I was two years in a concentration camp. But then concentration they went, camp. I went to work outside and then they were controlled by the by the an office. And they put me in the list to go to Germany to work from the war. I was three times. But the one I couldn't anymore I, crossed, I went to France. They put me in prison from the prison 
10.000 metrů do Norta Afriky, to jsou military service, I was there two years. And you know what happened? Don't you? 19, what year? I'm 43, 45 in the world. And uh, you know, I was very. Truman Mary was reading everything and everything. But then one day we came, well, in prison they came to, to do the, 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 the communion. And then I didn't want to go. You know, the priest, we were in the cell, we were 12 in a cell. I was very isolated there for 15 minutes. The priest would come. You want to go to a room, you don't have to, you don't want to. And then he was demanding and imposing. That you go to communion? Yeah. And then of the whole, the whole, the whole... Cell? Prison? No, the whole prison. Only 11, we didn't go. Oh. And then when I was in the army, on Sunday was supposed to be, was supposed to be a communion. They said, we will give you a... The and I went to the office, said, what do you want? I said, I, don't, I never did the communion, I don't want to go. He said, get out of here, I don't want anything to know. And that particular Sunday, my name was in the list that I took be in the compounds watching. I mean, I, don't have to, I didn't have to go to the formation because so much. Mm -hmm. And about one month later, he said to me, there's a control of the mountains, so they have civil guards and everything. And that they want to take the silver and put soldiers there. He said, it's a very a place that very independent. And we, have, there's, we need somebody that won't be shy to speak to generals and things like this. The, you won't regret, you'll be very good there, you know. And you know, and we went, there were three of us soldiers. And there were the, the Arabs there. And I learned a lot of Arabs. Mm -hmm. Arabic. And then, it was okay. And then I would go, I would go to the library, but it was, it was 14 kilometers, you know, at the city. I get books. And I learned a lot of Arabic. Yeah, I was going to say, did you, did you learn to speak enough? No, Arabic? no, but I could, I could know whatever they're saying and things like this, uh -huh. and I could say several things, make things. You have a flair with languages. No, no. And then, uh, and talking about that is about 60 years, no? I was 55 years, more than that. And uh, even at four aboard, there was an, an Arabic. And one day, all of a sudden, I started talking, thing, ping, ping, ping. And all of a sudden, what are you talking about? Then it came up and we talked. To Oh, wow. Several things that, you know, easy things. But then I forgot. The only thing I said, when I said, I said, Salam, salam Alaikum. He said, Alaikum Salam. You, know. mm -hmm. you don't want any more?